Welcome to Win Creativity Knox All-Star Designer Holiday Series. And our special guest today is Mark Montano, and he's gonna show us, you are not gonna believe, these fabulous patches. They're fun and they're funky and they're easy to make. Hey DIYers, I'm Mark Montano and this is a quick gift or stocking stuffer for the teenager or fashionista in your life. We are making patches which are all over the runway this year. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is take a piece of heavy duty cotton or um, if you don't have a piece of heavy duty cotton, you could put some interfacing on the back to make it nice and thick. The next thing we're going to do is pick out our rubber stamps. And these are Judikin stamps. They're amazing, really good designs, and perfect for a project like this. I'm also using clear snap ink, which is permanent. And it won't wash out, which is terrific. So I've picked out a bird cage and a bird for this particular patch. Going to ink up our stamp. And firmly press it on the fabric. Ah, oh, that looks great. The next thing we're going to do is take our bird, and I've chosen a blue. So we're just going to ink up our bird and put it inside the cage. Let me see here. Ah, oh, that looks terrific. Okay, now we should have a little bit of ink left on the birdcage, so what I'm going to do is stamp it on a piece of cardstock. And then with our paper scissors, we're going to cut out that shape. doesn't have to be perfect. Now we're going to take a little piece of scotch tape and tape this cutout right on top of the stamp. And I'll show you why in one second. Since patches tend to get a little bit dirty, we're going to add a little bit of color and we're going to take some spritzers permanent dye and spray it around the image. Let's try it over here. There we go. Just like that. Let it dry for a second. You can remove. And then we have our image framed just like that. Next we're going to draw out the shape of our patch and I'm just going to use the lid of the stamp pad. This is going to be a large patch so it'll look perfect on um, the knee of a pair of jeans or a jean jacket or even on the elbow of a sweater or something like that. Kids love patches and I know all of you have tons of rubber stamps 
Okay, so we've traced our shape with a pencil, and the next thing we're going to do is zigzag around this mark on our sewing machine using a buttonhole stitch. And I'm going to use red just for contrast. Now it's really important to do your stitching before you cut out the patch so that it lays flat all the way around. You can do one of two things now. You can either add a peel and stick to the back so that you can iron your patch on or just stick it on if you want. Or if you don't have a peel and stick and you just want to sew on your patch, all you have to do now is just cut around the stitching and you're done. Mark had all the designers buzzing around in the studio today about those patches. They were so great. It's a great idea for a gift. And they were easy. I thought, oh my God, those are so great. I loved it. Well, you guys got to get in on this. We have still more prizes to give away. You have to go to our website. And register for our mailing list, and then you'll be eligible to win one of our eight prize boxes, chock full of products from all eight sponsors of this series. It's a great chance to win some great prizes to work with, so sign up.